Hey, so it's cool if I crash with you? You catch you, you catch amigo. Yeah, your landlord say when he's gonna fix that hole in the roof? He said nothing about fixing anything, my friend. He said they're gonna mop up and give me the all clear. I'm just gonna move back in. It's being homeless. You know, there are stops between a leaky attic and total homelessness. Hey, you know, I'd love to live in a rent-controlled palace like you, okay? Some of us aren't so lucky. This is light. There's nothing in this. Yes, yeah, it's a nice container. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't luck. You know, I scoured the city for that place. Yeah, well, I'm more of a skimmer than a scourer. Right. Look, you need to upgrade your living situation, okay? A man's home is his castle. And you, my friend, you're living in a moat. Yeah, you know what? This is pathetic. I'm a man. I should be living like a man, like a grown-ass man. You know? A place to hang my hat and all that. I mean, I don't wear a hat, but if I did, you'd have a place to hang it. Exactly. The grown-ass men. Hey. Castles. And hats. Hats. Damien, go to first position. You're gonna keep doing this till you get it right. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't think about dancing. Think about killing something. Killing uh, mediocrity, apathy. You have five minutes to get that ankle wrapped. I told you about Damien, right? I'm not giving up on him. Hey, juice, fruit, neck rub? <laughs> None of the above, buddy, but thanks. Just do my job, gorgeous. OK, sound. Let's work the bridge in the meantime. Who moved this? No one touches Jade's mic, people. Bodie? Bodie! No, 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 don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Call the ambulance! Call the ambulance! social life and I'm not. Mm. In this case, let's talk about that. Uh, we have a few things on the back burner. Cyber crime ring working out of Hamilton. I spoke to the IMET unit about a possible securities fraud case. Nothing imminent or particularly exciting. Well, let me propose something that is. You two have heard of Jade? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan myself. Pop's not my thing. Are you serious? Yeah, what, you? I am a big You're fan. You're a big fan? Come yeah, on. Yeah, man, no, she's smart, not. fearless, courts Kidding controversy. Me? Courting controversy? She wore a dress of raw fish to an award show. That's courting soy sauce. Well, I'm assuming you both heard there was a death yesterday at her rehearsal studio? Yeah, it was on the news. Crew guy got accidentally electrocuted. Mm, well, it was no accident. Her microphone was sabotaged. We have reason to believe someone's trying to kill her. I definitely want in on this. Oh, no. I'll tell Metro that we're taking over the case. Hey, this is cool. Queen Street West, top floor of a house, laundry and basement, junior one bedroom. What does that mean, junior one bedroom? It means you could probably touch all four walls standing in one place. Ugh, pass. Who is this Craig? And who told him he could make lists? Oz, finding an apartment is brutal, especially with your criteria. Hey, all I want is a nice one bedroom apartment in a cool area with a pool and a fireplace and a tenants only gym and a 24 hour concierge. Look, my one bedroom apartment has no pool, no fireplace, and the area is certainly not cool, and I still pay $12.50 a month. Okay, I can budge on the fireplace. So, what do we know about Jade? AKA Sasha Dixon, emancipated herself at 16, a real wild child, but smart. She graduated with top honors while living on the street. She made some noise on the Toronto underground scene, discovered by JC, an ex-rapper. He became her manager. What about her personal life? Her personal life is highly guarded by her publicity team. But we do know that she has a stalker problem. Marco Silvestri, the super fan, he has a restraining order against him, which he's violated five times. JC's notified police that he thinks he might be escalating. I'll get a unit to check out his address. Okay, Homicide is at the studio. Why don't you go check in about the mic? You and I are going to talk to Jade's manager. Cool. Go 
Lord, he had a wife and kids. It's been tough for everybody. Is there any chance that he could have been the target? The man never had an enemy in the world. How was Jane doing? I mean, her and Bodie were real tight, so, you know, it's tough for her. You know, what she's trying to be, she's trying to be strong, trying to hide it from everybody, you know, the girls. Solid steel. <laughs> Just like me. What can you tell us about Marco Silvestri? It was Jay's biggest fan, ran a kick-ass fan site, so I hired him to run Jay's official site. Things start getting crazy. He started going to their house at the wee hours in the morning and phoning her all the time, so I fired him. You think, uh, you think he's capable of violence? Yeah, he's capable. Is there anyone else that we should know about, someone from her personal life? I know nothing about Jay's personal life. She's built a wall so high, even I couldn't see over. You're her manager, you're her producer, you're the president of her label. If you're not close to her, who is? Well, it's complicated between me and her. I had a shot back in the days. You know, I tried to help her so she won't make the same mistakes I did, but, you know, she doesn't like being taught. She's got a lot of pride. <laughs> Again, just like me. Okay, Jason Coleman. He ran a street gang before he discovered music, saw an unpolished diamond in Jade, and under his wing, she broke worldwide. Sounds like he's good at his job. Yeah, the anti racketeering unit are looking into the methods he used to break Jade. Bribery, corruption, coercion. Okay, so JC's a person of interest. We need to know more. Find someone close to the organization. You've been with Jade a long time, Damien. Since her very first show as Jade. Even back then, she was a little dictator. So why do you dance for her? Because she's a genius. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, sure, she can be a demanding witch, but she's got my back. When my dad died, she was there for me. And I know that she's fought to keep me on this tour. Fought with who? JC. <laughs> That's his MO. Anybody in Jade's camp, he wants gone. Because? It's about control with him. But he's met his match when it comes to Jade. What do you mean? Jade can be extremely difficult. <laughs> Love the girl, but she seems oblivious to the fact that half the people around her can't stand her. Anyone with a serious grudge? The last lighting director, Rodney Squires, missed a cue during a charity gig, got canned that night, caused major drama on his way out. Well, thank you for your time. If we have any more questions, I'll be in touch. Just uh, right out there. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Did you get anything? Yeah, I saw a guy flipping out. I figure it was Squires. Well, he's certainly a person of interest, so I will talk to him ASAP. Cool. You want me to come along for a read? No. How would you feel about joining the music biz? So the stand must be insulated. Yeah. Clearly, Jade was the target. The guy got zapped with 200 amps. That's enough to kill a horse. <clears throat> Cable's been hybridized. It carries both the acoustic wiring and a high voltage wire. Hmm. Do all of these run down to the basement? Yeah, down to the electrical room. Dev, what's going on? Well, I'm in the electrical room of the studio. I'm looking at a 347 volt box, armored cable, BX clamps, conduit KOs. That all means what exactly? Well, it means that we know a little bit more about our killer. I bet he was president of the AV club. The good news is, this door has a keypad. So if there's record of access, we're a little bit closer to finding out who this guy is. OK, nice work. I'll see you back here. You should get to the studio. Yay. Um, any tips? Your job is to scan for suspects and make notes any sign of trouble, alert the bodyguard, and hang back. Okay. You're gonna be great. Hey, Jade. Hi, I'm Toby. I'm your new assistant. Yeah, I know who you are. I was told. Cool. Are you following me? Yeah, I kind of have to. Well, listen. Odie was a friend of mine, his death shredded me. But I have seven days to get my tour together, so do what you need to do, but stay out of my way. Yeah. That went well.
Bodhi was a good man. But you got the wrong guy. I don't know anything about it. I got fired off the tour two weeks ago. I heard you left on bad terms, Rodney. You could say that. They fired me for no reason. Uh, I spoke to your union. They said you filed a complaint. Yeah, big mistake. JC has it fixed, so I can't get a designer gig. So now I'm back here humping cable and lights. Well, you must be furious. 20 years of experience flushed down the toilet. What do you think? I think I'd be looking for revenge. And I think if you had anything on me, you'd be hauling me downtown. So if you're done fishing. All right, so guys, when your arms go like that, I want to see a clean line like this. Oh, he's so hot. Why doesn't she just, she just, she just, she just, she just Total control. She's, she's, I just have to wait just the right time, right time. Same thing. Hey, can I speak to you for a second? Oh, Marco! How'd you get this crew pass? I made it. I'm good at Illustrator. Why don't you tell me about this weapon? I needed it to protect myself. From whom? Jade's bodyguard. Roughed me up pretty good last time. He's probably just doing his job. Look, I need to talk to Jade. I heard what happened to Bodhi. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. Is Jade okay? Uh, can I see her? You do realize there's a restraining order against you, right? Yeah, I don't care about that. All I care about is Jade. She cares about me. No, actually, I don't think she does. Take that back. In fact, I'm pretty sure she thinks you're a freak. Jade loves me! So it's clear he suffers from some kind of delusional disorder. Yeah, I've come across it before when the reality threatens a fantasy world. It become dangerous. Well, do we think he has the skill to sabotage the microphone? Well, who knows? If you can learn how to make a bomb on the internet nowadays. You can learn how to wire a mic. Yeah. Good point. So where's Jade? She's uh, in the recording studio. I'm gonna meet up with her in a little bit. Uh, she's got an appearance at a nightclub. Okay, well, I'll send back up. Cool. Let's hope I don't need them. Well, if there's no shower and no bathtub, how am I supposed to clean myself? That's rude. How goes the apartment hunt? Oh, don't ask, man. Yeah. We can always move back in with your folks, right? What am I, the Turkish George Costanza? No, I gotta find my own place. Oh, man, you're not gonna believe what they got me doing at IIB right now. I'm undercover. Yeah? I'm Jade's assistant. You know Jade? Jade, like pop star Jade? Yeah. Yes, I know Jade. I mean, her music's not really for me. It's for girls, but I totally get why she's popular. Plus, she's crazy hot. Well, she's also got a stalker trying to kill her, so... Really? Yeah. They want me to hang around Jay, keep my ears open, see what I can find out, but she's not easy to get through to. Why don't you give her the, the, the wounded wolf eyes? What do you mean, these? Yeah. I don't think she's gonna buy it. Well, you gotta find a way to earn her respect. There's this read I got from her stalker. I can't get it out of my head. She's on the floor, and she's screaming, and it's bloody, and it's... Wait a second. This video for her song, You Killed Me. It was too risque for TV, but it's all over the internet. Check this Yeah. See, I like you said. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah, this is what I saw. This is a video? Yeah. Yeah. Michelle, uh, the read I got off Marco, it's, uh, it's actually one of Jade's videos. So, wait, what are you saying? He, he's not trying to kill her? Look, no, I didn't say that. I just, uh, I mean, it was intense. It was like he was inside the video playing the role of the killer. Okay, well, we have surveillance on him. If he makes a move, we'll know. I'll check back in later. All right, cool. Let's check the last time the electrical room was accessed before the murder. The door was unlocked at 3.42 a.m. and then locked again at 4.34 a.m. I'd say that's just enough time to do the wiring. Well, that eliminates JC. According to this itinerary, he was flying back from L.A. So if this door has key code access, can we tell who opened it? Each department is issued a specific key code. This door was accessed by... 
Key code 1200, which belongs to lighting. Hello, Rodney Squires. You guys don't have anything. Really, I think the Crown Attorney would beg to differ. We have motive and we have means. And we have proof that your key code was used to access the door to the electrical room at 3.42 a.m. Tuesday morning. Hold on. I was only canned just two weeks ago. The security company probably forgot to disable my code. Well, that still doesn't explain how your code was used to access the door. Security in that building is a joke. Key codes are traded freely. I mean, anybody could have used that code. Anybody. Can you verify your whereabouts Tuesday morning? Uh, all right, I am not going to lie to you guys. I was drunk. I mean, really drunk. I blacked out, and I woke up around noon at my place. So maybe you don't remember going to the studio, doing a little wiring? I don't think I'm going to say another word till I have a lawyer present. Love to go out to dinner with me. Mine. She's so beautiful. I know who she is. She just doesn't know it yet. Woo! Was that you guys went into the hood? I'm gonna get her out of here now, okay? I know your IIB. Jade wants to do it. Screw that. You're coming with me now. Come on. Hey, Jade. We're getting you out of here now, okay? I'm concerned for your safety. Let's go. Safe is boring. We're leaving. Let's go. Sorry, everybody. Show's over. Hey, don't talk to me. Talk to this guy. Go. Are you happy now? Oh, come on. I don't like being told what to do. No one said you had to like it. Let's go. Please, sir, may I use the bathroom? Okay. Alone? I'm so out of so here. Out of here. Hey, where you going? You're good. Yeah, I have my moments. All right, let's get her home. Come on. Sweet ride. Thank you. How many cc's? 900. Air cooled? Yeah. You know your bikes. Yeah, a friend of mine had one. So your friend with the bike, what was her name? How do you know it's a her? It's a lucky guess. Well, I don't like talking about her. I don't like being put under a microscope. I don't, I don't get it, okay? Someone's trying to kill you, and it's like you don't care. Don't analyze me. I'm not. I'm just here trying to help save your life. Okay. I get it. Good night, Logan. Sergeant McCluskey. Hey, Jade, it's really nice to meet you. I'm sorry it's not under better circumstances. Do you, you have any idea who may have done this? Why do people do anything? Because everybody's got their reasons. <laughs> it's been a long night. Jade, we still have questions. Not right now. If you don't mind. It, this is a crime scene. Jade, we have to get forensics in here. How long will it take? It's gonna take as long as it takes. And in the meantime, we're gonna have a police unit outside your door, okay? Just wanna be Just left alone. alone. Look, we respect your privacy, but you gotta let us do our jobs, Jade. Night, Toby. Why would Marco or anybody break into Jade's house to paint a song title on a window? Seems like we're back to square one here. Well, I don't think we are. I think the song, You Killed Me, is significant. I saw Jade singing it with Motorcycle Girl. Who is she? Samantha Lawrence. She graduated from the same high school class as Jade. And where is this girl now? 
Mount Pleasant Cemetery. She killed herself two years ago. She left behind a sister, uh, Jenny Lawrence. Beyond the high school connection, what's the link between Samantha and Jade? I scoured the internet. I couldn't find one. What, with all the ink spilled on Jade, there's no mention of Samantha? She died before Jade was Jade. Deb, why don't you go visit JC? He's known these girls for a long time. You and I will go visit Samantha's parents. Sam was a sweet kid, talented too. As a matter of fact, she's the one who wrote the hook for You Kill Me. They were real tight. Jade just outgrew her. Didn't need her anymore, so I showed her the door. And months later, she took her own life. I feel bad about that. And so does Jade. She blames herself for Sam's death. As a matter of fact, a lot of other people blame Jade, too. Especially his sister, Jenny. GC, we're late for the studio, man. Matter of fact, security told me they seen Jenny Lawrence try to hang out in the studio. She tried to talk to Jade, but they didn't let her in. And when was this exactly? The day before Bodie died. I didn't think about it before, but I thought I'd mention it. We have struggled to understand why Sammy would choose to end her life. Well, it's our understanding she had a falling out with Jade. Do you think that might have something to do with it? We lost our girl. That's all we know. Have you seen Jade recently? She wouldn't dare come here. Bill. The last time we saw her was the afternoon of Sammy's funeral. She came by the house to pay her respects. She probably shouldn't have come. Jenny attacked her. Where is Jenny now? She's traveling. She sends me an, an email every once in a while to let me know she's all right. She just needs some time to get herself sorted out. I, I wish she would let me help her. We need to speak to her about a homicide that happened at Jade's rehearsal studio. You think Jenny had something to do with this? Those people took one of our daughters. Now you're coming after the other? Mr. Lawrence, do you mind if I ask you what you do? Uh, home renovations? Uh, bathroom, kitchen, a little bit of everything. Electrical? Yeah, full service. Why? I was just curious. Thank you. You know, Bill knows his way around electrical work. He could have uh, wired that mic. Yeah, or he could have taught Jenny. Either way, we have two viable suspects. We'll get surveillance on Bill. Deb and I will do whatever we can to track Jenny down. If she is having some kind of emotional breakdown, who knows what she's capable of. All right, I'm going to get back to the studio. Yeah, good. Hey, listen, I saw how Jade is, but try to get her talking about Jenny if you can, OK? No, I'll try. You know, I'm having a hard time getting through to her, though. Well, you always got to be so difficult, huh? Every time I disagree, you say I'm being difficult. When all I'm saying is I want to try some different things. When all I'm saying is different, don't sell. Like I'm talking to a wall with you, man. Okay. Thanks for the juice. It's just part of my job. And how's that working out? I've got this totally obnoxious boss. I'm not really like that, you know? It's just easier if people think I'm a bitch. You gotta be careful, because if you keep pushing people away, no one's ever gonna get in. Mm -hmm. Safer that way. Safe. Safe is boring. Yeah, you know, I get I get it. You want to be alone. I don't think you want to be lonely. Well, I have been known, you know, to open up for the right person. Like Samantha. Look, uh, I know you don't like talking about her, but we think that her death might be connected to the threat on your life, and her sister Jenny and her father might be involved in this as well. Is that right? Look, I know that she attacked you after the funeral. That she's a suspect in Bodhi's murder. And we think that she might be trying to hurt you. You need to find her, Jed. Well... I know she came by the studio looking for me, and security sent her away. That's what I know. That's... that's all I know. Okay. Just, I'm, I'm here for you, all right? If you need help, whatever. I'm... I'm on your side. You want to know what would help? 
Yeah, we're too melodic for the Philharmonics. It's narcotic, yeah, we narcotic. We're too melodic for the Philharmonics. We narcotic, yeah, narcotic. She play the violin, violins blazing on the song. I stepped on the podium, raising my baton. The brass woodwinds keep the metronome. The Japanese dope, but the lost patience. Hearts break, hearts beat, drop a semitone. Thanks. Clear the cobwebs. All right, okay. I'm glad I could help. Oh, gosh. You all right? No, <laughs> blood sugar crash. What are you gonna feed me? Okay, um... All right, this is crazy, but I live nearby. I've got beer in the fridge and an awesome pizza joint that delivers. Well, you had me at this is crazy. Um, yeah, my place is a little messy. No, it's cool. I really love it. A friend of mine had a place like this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Samantha. Oh. oh. Personal detail. You must be starting to like me. Be careful. Don't get cute, Logan. I'm gonna dance all night cause I'm sexy with the place with a towel in the bathroom. Hi. Hey, oh my god. Hey. It's Jay. Yeah. Floor. Big fan. Thanks. Uh, I bought it. I didn't download it illegally, so. Okay. Well, I'm really sorry that you saw that. Me too. So, this guy had eaten maybe a hundred hot dogs before we got him into the ambulance. And Toby, while driving, mind you, just starts dry heaving. Oh, it's what like. What time is it? Hey, you late for your shift. Oh, yeah. yeah I am so, so late. But yeah. How often do I get a chance to sit in audience with such a beautiful, talented singer who I think, quite frankly, is subverting the genre that you are doing so well? What do you think about that? Yeah, that's true. Uh, you, you don't want to be late. All right, I'm going to go. Hey, next time uh, you see me, I will be wearing pants. Nice meeting you. Unless, you know, you play your cards right. See you later, buddy. OK. That's uh, it's my best friend, Oz. <laughs> You're lucky. Well, yeah, I mean, you saw him, right? You met him? Trust me. Talking about the same guy? Yeah, you're lucky okay. to have someone who likes you for you. I mean, everyone in my world wants something from me. I'm not complaining, mm. but it's lonely. I mean, there's got to be, come on, someone you talk to, you hang out with, what? Yeah, um, I used to talk to Bodhi, and look what happened to him. I mean, it's my fault he died. Mm. He's not the first. No, oh, you. You can't blame yourself for Samantha's death. You guys had a deep connection. Sam, she was special. She set me off on this musical journey, and then JC came in, and things really got messed up. He turned me against her. Divide and conquer, that's his game. Look. I recorded an album's worth of demos by myself. Good. Yeah, they're pretty hot. Yeah? I've been shopping them around without JC. I'm thinking about leaving. Really? You sure that's what you want to do? I think so. I don't know. I mean, he got me where I am today. And... You know, no, no. For the record, I think you got yourself where you are today. I think JC and everyone else had nothing to do with this. I mean, it's you up on stage, right? You gotta give yourself a little bit of credit here. It's late. Yeah, I'll get you home. Hey! You okay? Sure, you didn't see the driver. Yeah. How's Jay? Yeah, my sister out. She's okay. I sent her home with a police guard. Good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Great. So uh, uniforms found the car abandoned a few kilometers away. Guess who it's registered to? We're gonna need to see the car. 
We don't have it. So where is it? We gave that to Jenny a long time ago. It was just used in a hit and run attempt on Jade. That's insane. Our girl is not a killer. I will not allow you to persecute her. Mr. Lawrence, look, I know you're trying to protect Jenny, but if you know where she is, you just I told you. Jenny went off to be by herself. We don't have the slightest idea where she is. We're good. Thanks. Thank you. He's helping Jenny hide out. She's running a room somewhere. I don't think Christine knows this. I saw a, a green awning, a, a wolf with a green jacket on it. Okay, that might be enough for us to track her down. Why don't, uh, why don't you go home? Get some rest. Actually, uh, I'm going to Much Music. Jade is performing in a few hours, and uh, I'm going to be there. Yeah? Yeah. Look who's coming around to Jade after all. You're very invested in this. Yeah, and I'm just doing my job. Opinions change, by the way. All right. superhero. Okay, for the cleaners. Can you guys give us a minute? Thanks. So, I have some news. I spoke to my lawyers, and I'm putting the wheels into motion. You leaving JC? Well, he doesn't know yet. I want to tell him personally. How do you feel? Guilty. But I need to stand on my own two feet. You help me see that. You ready to rock the house? Jade's movements over the last week. Let's go. Toby, we think Jenny's gonna make her move at the Much Music event. Okay, all right, I'll cancel the show. No, hold on, Jenny might be in the crowd. It could be the perfect chance to get her. Okay, look, uh, I'm gonna feel a lot better though if I get Jade out of here. Fine, send her home, but don't let word get out. It'll give us time to search. We're on our way. I gotta get you out of here, all right? What's wrong? I'll explain everything later, all right? We're gonna get the driver and drive you home. Trust me on this, please. Let's go. So you're bailing after one song? Yeah, I'm sending her home, JC. What? So you don't bother to ask before you walk off on a televised show? There was no time. Toby said we need to go. <laughs> so, so, so he calls the shots now, huh? You know what? I can't deal with your drama anymore. Sorry, I'm done. So what, you, you don't need me anymore, huh? Who got you the private plane, huh? Who got you the platinum records, huh? I did. Our day is over. Hands off me, man. I'll pay you. You done, JC? Yeah, I am done. And she's done too. She's done too. I'll make sure of that. Make sure. Hey, Michelle. 
show we've got a problem here. We need to issue an APB black limousine marker BAOK736. Advise IIB if spotted. Copy that. You sure about this? Yeah, JC's up to something. I'm not sure exactly what, but I know she's in danger. It's not Jenny? I don't know. I, I just know we gotta find her. Be advised, police unit has a visual on a black limousine. Marker Bravo Alpha Oscar Kilo 736. Vehicles making the turn off Richmond onto Draper. That's near Jade's house. You don't need to walk me inside. JC told me to keep an eye on you. Well, it doesn't really matter what JC says anymore. What are you doing? Go that way. Anyone. Walk away. Walk away or she's dead. She's gonna break love, Michelle. Deb, get an ambulance at 145 Draper. I am. Well, that's not what I'm asking. I want to know you're okay. I'm fine. Okay. Leon Quint, part-time driver, part-time muscle for JC's organization. No criminal record, but he had a reputation as a fixer. We searched his apartment. We found red paint, hybridized cable, and the keys to Jenny's car. Yeah, he's responsible for Bodie's death. He tried to frame Rodney Squires. When that didn't work out as planned, he switched gears. He knew Jenny was hanging around. He must have gotten the idea to frame her. In reality, Jenny was just laying low, trying to sort herself out. Yeah, she was the perfect fall guy. He had every reason to want revenge on Jade. It's like the story writes itself. Just one problem. How to tie the whole thing to JC. Look, look, when I met Sasha Dixon, she was a pop emo kid in, in a nowhere band. Well, this is your management contract. It states in the event of Jade's death, you control everything. Recordings, publishing, merchandising. You knew she was shopping a new CD behind your back. I knew nothing about no new CD. Oh, that's a lie. We have a sworn testimony from an A&R guy who says you threatened him to get you a copy. <laughs> you heard it. You knew it was going to be massive. But what pissed you off was not the fact that she was going to walk away with that CD. It was that she did her best work without you. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, whoa. Even if any of this is true, and I assure you none of it is, you don't have a lick of evidence. Quint received a deposit of $250,000. It's a big time salary for a part-time limo driver. We were able to link that back to a number account held by an LLC in the Caymans. Belonging to one Jason Coleman, AKA JC. Oz, hey, yeah, I'm right here. Good, okay, you got your clothes on. Yeah, I just want to make sure we didn't see Little Oz again. Little Oz? Yeah. But Jade didn't call it that, did she? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Forget it. She was complimentary. Yeah. Hey, how goes the apartment hunting? My eyes are too big for my bank account. It's never going to happen. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah? What's that? These are the keys for the apartment down the hall. Talk to the landlady. It's yours for a grand a month. We'd be neighbors? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't it? But you can't do my heavy lifting for me anymore. Look, part of being a grown-ass man is knowing when to accept a helping hand. This is awesome. Who's here? You know she was coming? No. What are you doing here? Hi, I probably should have called first, but uh, where's the fun in that? I don't know. Hey, come on in the kitchen. You remember Oz? Yes, nice to see you again. With pants. Well, uh, Toby instituted a new policy in the apartment. It's a little restrictive to my freedom. You know, I should go check out my new apartment. That's what I should do. Great. And I would be nice to see you. Hey. Great. So, what's going on? 
So I spoke to Jenny last night. Good, and how's she doing? Her parents are taking good care of her. I think she's gonna be okay. That's great. Uh huh. And you guys talk about Samantha? Yeah, she got some stuff off her chest. Good. It'll take a while, but uh, I think I'm gonna try to get right with her. That's great. Yeah, so uh, my tour's starting next week. 18 months around the world. When you come to Toronto, we want backstage passes. Us would really be grateful. Toby. What? <laughs> I'm surrounded by people who aren't real, so it's nice to know someone who is. Maybe when I'm back, we could uh, grab a coffee. That'd be great. <laughs> you know where I live. Well, <laughs> until next time. <laughs> <laughs>